How you guys doing? Welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. I'm John, your hydroponic test dummy. And today is April, no, April. It's August. It's August 20th, 2014. And uh, we're getting towards the end of the growing season. We're getting into harvest season right now. And I, I've got some of the tomatoes starting to blush. Okay, I got one ripe one over there. Um, so let's start off with the tomatoes and take a peek because I have the perfect tomato. However, there is two days of rain scheduled here and I don't want it to crack or split or anything like that so I'm gonna take it a little early we'll weigh it if I get one uh, a one pound tomato it's gonna be today um, just hasn't been a great year for tomato growing it's been cool and wet and whatnot so let's take a peek at it okay guys so if you remember back at the end of May we did a tomato gorilla trench here we planted uh, brandywine tomatoes and here's what it looks like today six foot stakes and on top of it I put in some extensions for another six feet and I've got one vine that is now 12 feet tall brandywine's not very prolific but what the heck you know uh, these are some awesome tomatoes and we are going to focus in on no we're gonna pick this one over here so let's Go over there. So take a peek at that tomato. Bring it over here, bub. I will. It's got a little bit of uh, green on it, but that's okay. These things turn pink. Uh, we'll probably let it ripe, ripen up for, I don't know, a day or two more, and then we'll cut into it and see how it tastes. But uh, that's a big tomato. That's a good one. I just don't want it to crack and uh, get damaged or anything like that. So um, pretty geeked about that one. That's, that's our pig this year. Here's a close-up of the brandy wines on the tomato trench here. Got some really nice ones coming in here. They ripen to a nice pink, so they won't get totally red. So you don't want to leave them on too long. But... For something that I just kind of trenched up and and made, this is this is pretty cool. Well, thank you, Black Eyed Susan. My daughter just picked that for me. That was very kind. All right, so this is our gazette, right? And what we got there, that big one right there, is what they call a mega bloom. That's two blooms combined into one. Uh, that's the first one to ripen. Uh, and these are those gazette Italian paste ones. So let's give that a pick. Ready guys? You got it. Now show the camera that one. Okay. Yeah, that's a big one, a little early, but this is what I'm trying to prevent from happening. Is it's splitting on the bottom, cracking, and uh, see, that's a bummer. But let me see, let that me is see. a funny looking tomato right there. That's a cool tomato. Cracked? Yeah. Oh no, what but, happened? The rest of them will be fine. Let's do some close-ups on this and look at some of these clusters that are going to come. Nasturtium. Thanks. You picked a nasturtium. You going to eat it? Yeah. Cool. Um, this one. Look oh. at these clusters in here, man. This is a no. really prolific plant, and I hope it makes some good sauce. Um, big, big clusters. Uh, some of the fruit in here is, I mean, just in relation to my hand, they're much bigger than aroma. Don't know how they taste, but lots and lots of tomatoes lots and lots of clusters I must have at least a hundred big tomatoes in here I mean look at this that is just the clusters on that are just unbelievable <laughs> even high up on the plant I've got some really good sized ones in here so this is uh this has been a good uh, grow I just hope they taste good Okay, this is this year's test grow, and this year's test grow is Cherokee Purple. Cherokee Purple? That's right, Cherokee Purple. They're known Cherokee for... Cherokee Purple? They're Cherokee Purple. And um, they're known for cracking, and obviously we've got some cracking going on there, but I've got some that aren't. Uh, they're big tomatoes. <laughs> never eaten them before, never grown them before, so topped these plants off real fast uh, and I just wanted to get a couple of them just to eat and see how they taste and if I like them I'll grow them uh, more next year. This one's that German Johnson uh, tomato. 
I just like the name German Johnson. So I am growing that one again. Topped it very early. Got some clusters going on. Just want to see how they taste. Looking forward to how those ripen up. Whoa. That right there is a blueberry tomato. And I have... <laughs> right, blueberry tomatoes. Uh, interesting little plant here. Grew, grew really prolific. Haven't done very much with it. Been kind of picking off of it. Um, they taste pretty decent. These actually are not ripe yet. They turn more of a, a dark orangish color once they're ripe. So they're getting there. Yeah, dark orangish color. So, um, but that's what they look like when they're uh, just about ready. All right, guys. So we got our first eggplant coming in. All right. Who wants to collect this baby? Me! We've got one, two, three, four of them up top. We got another one, five, six. We're gonna have six more before the end of the season, so that's pretty cool. Hold it like that. Got it. Gotcha. There you go. Oh, All right, yeah. you guys remember that bean teepee we built uh, about two months ago? Well, there it is, all filled in. Uh, got some blooms coming on. We've done one picking of beans so far. Those are those McCaslin beans, and this thing is real healthy, real awesome. Uh, let's see if we got any ready to go. I think we had some on the back ready to go already. But pop, there's one right there. Pretty flat, pretty flat bean. And very tasty. Check it out. I actually got a few cantaloupe this year. I think there's four or five of them in Water. here. Right here, bub. That's a cantaloupe. Oh, are we going to pick that yet? Nope, they're not ready yet. We have another one right here. That's right. And I think we got uh, two or three more in the back hiding under the leaves. So that's cool. Um, no. I'm a big daddy spider. Do you see a big daddy spider? Okay. Oh, he ain't going to hurt you. I, I like them. I like them, actually. You do? I don't know. With long legs. Right. And then if you and then if we follow the legs. pumpkin trail all the way past the tomatoes, I actually have a pumpkin growing. Which is pretty cool. See it's growing right in there, it's green and it'll turn orange when it's ready. Don't know if we're gonna get one in time for Halloween, but we'll see. Um that's a pumpkin. Yes. That's a watermelon. No, that's a pumpkin. That's a watermelon. Okay, it's a watermelon, but really it's a pumpkin. Carrots are out. Spinach is planting for a little fall crop there. Got four rows of peas in. I got to put some support in there for them. They're starting to flop over. Uh, these are like a bush variety pea, and then these are the climbers. Got four rows of them. In between these rows, there's going to be some lettuce, and I think some... Let's see what do I got here. I think in here, these are some beets. So, that's gonna be my just my little fall garden. We're still getting cucumbers. Uh, they're starting to slow down a little bit, but. <laughs> Look at that hog. So, still getting them. And these are gonna be the true harvest. Uh, today, I think we're gonna pick a whole bunch of these off. I've got six pots of these things. I'll probably pickle them up. But these are those tequila sunrise peppers. They're starting to turn orange. They're a sweet pepper. Uh, and I have been munching on them uh, in salads and stuff. And they've been uh, fantastic. So, whoops. There we go. So, cool looking pepper, man. Really cool. Alright, guys. Pepper. Got a whole bunch of these uh, tequila sunrise here. I'm going to slice them up. Uh, maybe uh, pickle them type of thing. Uh, I'm thinking sort of like an orange pepperoncini type of thing. Got the kids in there watching some cartoons. They're chilling, having a little snacky poo. Uh, I think I'm going to slice this baby up and cook it tonight. How do you cook your eggplant? Um, I'm just going to slice it up, kick on the oven to 400, uh, put it on some baking sheet, parchment paper, put a little olive oil on it, salt, pepper, and I'm going to put a little bit of uh, lemon on it. And then I'll probably cook it for about 30 minutes until it's nice and roasted. Man, that's, I love eggplant that way, man. That's, it's just fantastic, roasted eggplant. But 
Listen, we started with uh, the tomato, and I think we should end with the tomato. Um, pretty cool little deal here, again, with that, uh, with that trench that I put in, uh, that the kids and I put in. Pretty cool, so uh, let's see what she ends up at. All right, here's my handy-dandy little scale. There's the tomato. Let's see what we got this year. I'm going to turn it on. You can see she set the pounds, zero. Let's throw this baby on there. That is 1.44 pounds, people. So pretty decent little uh, tomato there. Uh, third year in a row, I've been able to uh, grow at least a pound, pound and a half tomato. So pretty cool. It's, it's not unusual to grow a brandy wine that big. Um, should probably expect at least one uh, during a growing season type of thing if, if that's the type of tomatoes that you like. Um, this baby is going to be a BLT in about a day or two so looking forward to that. Hey guys hope your gardens are going good. I'll probably have one more uh, outdoor video uh, coming up and then we're gonna start the indoor hydroponics again. See you guys later. Bye.